<laughs> hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, it's 2017. We've got some new projects in the mix. Let's go take a look. So let's start over here. On the lift is a 1957 Ragtop Beetle that we got in uh, last year and the client's been waiting patiently for us to get going on it. We found this car, I believe, out of New Mexico. Uh, it had a lot of dryness to it already. As you can see, a lot of body work has already been done. The car's already been gutted, like you see here. Um, you know, a couple problem areas that we see here under the apron. We'll probably have to replace this front apron. But overall, I mean, it's really solid. Pans have been, have been done. Um, we're gonna probably change this front beam. It looks like he either narrowed the beam or he lowered it. Uh, we'll probably go search for a stock beam. But overall, a really solid uh, car. I love getting the cars like this because it's not much of a headache when it comes to body work then. And uh, if you could find cars like this, don't be afraid to see them all gutted like you see here. Because, I mean, to be honest, it's, it's less work you really have to do. Just gotta make sure that the seller has all the parts, or at least most of the parts, uh, you know, for you to put the car back together. I mean, I, I, when I mean parts, I want, you know, all the door mechanisms, I want the ragtop mechanism, you know, you want the steering column, mechanicals, you know, things like that. I mean, a lot of stuff you can buy, but uh, you want to try to, you know, make sure that he's got uh, most of the material to, to help you put the car back together. But this is a great project. This is almost ready to go off to the paint shop and uh, we'll be moving on this one. Now here's the other car that's getting ready to go to the paint shop and this is a 65 all original sedan in sea blue. Uh, the owner that sent this to me to have it rebuilt, uh, restored, uh, lives in Connecticut and he cut his teeth on driving this car back in the 80s. So they've had this car for a long time. Uh, you can tell that it was outside for a bit. Um, you know, it's, it, it was in the elements. Uh, it's definitely northeast car for sure. Uh, it's going to need some help. Probably going to have to source some fenders because the fenders are pretty chewed up. Uh, but what, some of the things which is just remarkable, I mean, you could tell this car was really never restored. Uh, so, I mean, the, the paint inside the, uh, the headlight buckets is like brand new. If I lift up the hood here, I mean, the front apron is in actually in, in great shape. It still has the factory dealer, sh uh, dealer sticker saying sea blue. Okay, the VIN tags in the trunk, which I found remarkable was that the wiring harness looks brand new. Uh, this is the original wiring harness. You can tell nothing's been painted over. Um, so sometimes if you, fall, if you come into this scenario where you're restoring your car and you're gutting it, like what we're doing right now, and the wiring harness is in good shape, you know what? Just take it apart, take the fuse box, the fuse panel uh, you know, off the, uh, uh, the trunk area here, take the, uh, the dash um, switches off, keep everything together as best you can. Okay, I mean, I even keep we put the, even the escutcheons back on the switches here that you see. Keep everything in order, keep all the wires together. Okay, you wanna remove them from here. Okay, you wanna remove them from the front here that goes to the headlight buckets and to the turn switch. And just kinda of bag up the wires. You could put a bag like in the corner. If you're not doing a media blast on the car, you can kinda of keep that tight up in the corner. The painter can work his way around that. And then when it comes time to putting the car back together, you have the wiring harness pretty much all together and you can set it back up into the dash. I just, you know, just keep it out of the way of painting area, you know, and uh, you should be okay with that. But uh, for the most part, I couldn't believe, you know, seeing this wiring harness, it looks brand new from 65. All right, so as we work our way around the car, you can see for the most part, the car is pretty solid, pretty straight. The doors open and close beautifully. I really don't see any damage to this car as far as accidents in the history. Uh, so that that's pretty nice. Um, I have not taken this running board off yet. We'll see how the rocker panel is. Uh, but when I did start gutting the car on the inside, uh, for the most part, everything looked pretty solid. Heater channel areas, floor pan areas look okay so far. Uh, until I start taking off the old tar boards or something, um, I, I won't know until we get this up on the lift and start you know, removing bolts. But for the most part, the front heater channel areas look good. Um, you know, that looks pretty solid. The front firewall area looks good. It's when I came to the back, took the back seat out, took the back carpet out, and boom, nice size hole in the luggage area. And as you can see, there was a ton of moisture buildup in the back over here. The carpet was wet and it just rotted that away. Thankfully, they do sell these panels, the luggage compartment panels, to re weld in here uh, to cut out the old metal and put some new in. I mean, for the most part, the cross-member sections are good. 
Okay, cross members over there too. It's usually a problem area in the back of the heat channels, but uh, it's pretty solid. I mean, even over here is, is pretty solid still. So why this corner? Uh, and I didn't even really see any leaks in the headliner area to, to you know, give it an indication that there was a, a water leaking in. But uh, the one positive note of this hole is that you have access to the starter. So if you ever need to get to your starter, <laughs> easy access right here. And uh, I don't know if you know, but like the, the early split windows used to actually have a door uh, right here in the middle of the luggage compartment, an access door. So you had uh, access to uh, your clutch and uh, transmission area. So this is a numbers matching car and uh, we are going back to the bone stock look of the uh, the sea blue with uh, the stock looking seats and what's nice is that TMI actually makes this exact seat uh, and you can get this to look exactly like that so this car is going to be going back to the way it was from factory and what's nice is that it does have the 40 horse motor if I can get this open here for you. And that is C, so of course we are going to be going with the rebuild. Uh, but this is a numbers matching car. I mean, it has all the components that make it correct here. So it is going to be going back to the, exactly the way it was when it left the factory. And it's always a good idea, like you see here, what we're doing. We have bins, we have a table out, and we're just kind of setting things out for now. And uh, as we take the pieces off the car, you want to start you know, putting them in bins and categorizing your your parts interior exterior lights electric switches you know things like that and you know get a label on it and in today's technology we have our smartphones we have cameras today that can instantly take pictures uh, so if you are unsure how to put something back together you know take a shot of it before you take it apart uh, so then you can at least remember you know because there's a lot of pieces you know to these cars but you know, for the most part, you can organize it nicely. Uh, we're going to be doing that once we finish with the car and uh, boxing it up and putting them into bins. You know, so it's kind of out of the way and everything is labeled. All right, so it's definitely a good tip for you to do there. So you know, just to make sure you want everything to go back correctly. And if worst case, you cannot remember how to, you know, put something back together. I, of course, have videos online to show you how to do things. Or there's, uh, you know, forums online where you can do a search and, and ask some questions. There's plenty people out there in the VW community that, community that can help you. And finally, we have finished this beautiful 1962 Turquoise Beetle. Uh, just had to put some miles on it and run it and break it in. And uh, beautiful car, came out really nice. We found this car out in California and again was all painted and gutted. And it just seems like it stopped right there. They had a body off uh, a paint job. And uh, when I, I found this car on uh, the Samba, and I just had to get it. I mean, it just was, you cannot find very often the car is already stripped, painted, gutted, and all you have to do is put it back together. Again, I know it sounds intimidating to come across a car that is all gutted and all, it's all in pieces, but uh, I reassure you that um, that's some of the best uh, projects I like to find. So you just gotta make sure the paint job came out good. But worst case scenario, you can usually grab these cars for a decent price, and if the paint job is not good, it's already gutted already, and then you can reshoot it. So, uh, but that, that's not what we did here, and um, we put it all back together. Again, this car was out of France. Uh, so it was a European model, so that's why there's no bumper overriders on this car. Uh, so we added, of course, our own touch to the interior, and the client actually opted for this. So saw our earlier interiors, um, and this is what we did here. So here's our two-tone door panels with brown and beige in uh, oatmeal tweed from SoFine. And here's the seats. Nice brown piping on there. We're going with the synthetic uh, carpet from Wolfsburg West. Parcel shelf. Uh, Sapphire One radio has a brand new steering wheel in it. Headliner is actually a TMI. Uh, the Mohair beige actually came out really nice. Nice car. This is actually also a numbers matching car. Um, I'll show you back here. Same with the Euro lenses that you can see on the fenders. And here she goes. This is the early stale air 40 horse motor. I like these motors. I mean, they still they still look vintage. They still look old. There's no you know fresh air you know hoses coming off the uh, the fan shroud. So I've told this to people before. 
if you get these earlier models of 40 horse I mean you could always if you, even if you got a later 40 horse motor you could get the earlier fan shroud to still make it look older uh, but these are perfect replacements for say 36 horsepower early beetles you know in the oval split window eras you want a little more power uh, you could throw an early 40 horse in and uh, they still kind of look period and uh, great thing about a 40 horse is they sell the big bore piston and cylinder kit to, to bolt onto these cases and there's no machining in the block if you don't want to go crazy with machining and it can still look stock but you get you're then at about a 1385 cc so you're almost pushing about 50 horsepower then and uh, it gives yourself a little more kick still bolts up to the six volt tranny and you got a little more power uh, but uh, great motor these early 40 horses are really nice I love the big fat cap distributors that were around in the early 40 horse those are pretty cool so uh, yeah we wrapped this car up we just got to take it for more driving the weather has actually been beautiful here in New York as we're talking 50 degrees today and sunny in January how cool is that and like all the cars that we work on here's our signature approval badge all of our cars that we work on get stamped with this badge classic VW Bugs, Valone Works and this is how you know that it's been worked by, on by our shop and uh, if these guys got any questions about our build a bug program Things have been updated, pricing has been updated as of late, so if you're going to want to contact me on that, uh, all the information is on my website, uh, but um, you know, it is best to give me a shout and give me a call and we can discuss pricing when it comes to build a bug or find a bug. So that's it for this episode. We kick off 2017, a lot of projects in the lineup. I have about 8 to 10 projects just for 2017, and that's not even counting 2018 that's coming. Uh, so got a lot of work. Uh, ahead of us, but uh, if anybody is interested in the build a bug program that I have and you want a bug restored to your preference Go to www.classicvwbugs.com and click on what is build a bug that is our restoration service And uh, we can provide you a bug that comes out better than factory If you can't afford to build a bug and you don't want to break the bank I also have the find a bug program and that's where I can search the country for you and find a car that's already restored pretty much and uh, Keep it down into your budget keep it to your liking so uh, and that's it guys, um, email me chris at classicvwbucks.com and I'll see you on the next episode.